Run now, and I will spare your lives. Stay to fight, and you will have only death. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is The Last Dragonborn and today we are going to watch a battle between the Despotate of Serbia and the Principality, principality of uh, Moldavia and uh, we have the uh, same, same amount of people, okay, it's interesting also they have the roster of their uh, troops uh, is like this they have uh, four units of pole arms, medium pole arms infantry Starting with the Principality of Moldavia, two units of archers, Praish archers, four units of cavalry, heavy shock cavalry mainly. Uh, I think so. Yeah. Uh, Including the general, uh, five, six units of uh, Voynich spearmen and the three units of dismounted Kurteni. On the other side, Serbia has like four units of cavalry, Vlastella mainly, heavy shock cavalry. Uh, Four units of uh, Voynichi X-Men and uh, six units, I think. No, five units of uh, Spearmen, Voynichi Spearmen, and uh, five units of medium melee infantry. Last del mainly the medium melee infantry and two units of light hand gunner infantry. Okay, have to be you are. You have to be careful with that, I guess, but we shall see what you are gonna do. The... okay, it's a bit, a bit laggy. Okay, they are in position. Well, if you use your handgunners uh, at the... Uh, if you have your handgunners in this position, you'll never win. You will have to use them in the center. And because you have the hand gunners, you can use them like in, in the back and pull them in the front and attack the pole arms. You you mainly if you if they have po okay it's a little bit laggy. If you have uh, pole arms, you can put in the center. Uh, you can wait a little bit and uh, wait for them to attack and or at least go with your army at at least like here and in the range of hand gunners and put your hand gunners to work against the polongs because they are dealing a lot of damage against units without shield basically and uh, yeah I, I think he noticed that and he's starting to oh, okay never mind well he I think he's doing what I've said I don't know I, I in my defense I never watched uh, these battles or replays it's the first time I I'm watching them so imagine you're a uh, just a hunter holding on in, on this tree and watching the battle unfold or at least just just uh, be here in the tree up here and just watch the battle from the tree <laughs> would be amazing I think for you basically until you see soldiers fleeing and you have to flee too <laughs> or at least uh, hide <laughs> at least uh, until the battle is over Okay, they are trying. Yeah, good uh, for the Moldavians for uh, what? They are uh, okay, it's laggy. They are using their hand gunners, but they are not using well. Oh my goodness, look at that! Uh, friendly fire, also, dude. Oh my goodness, look at that! Oh. It's that's why you have to use your hand guards better. You just have use them, put it, them into this gap and let them rain fire against their cavalry or at least uh, their skirmishers. This is so bad. Oh, I don't think he noticed that his hand guards are... Okay, he noticed in the last time. Well, uh, on the side of the Moldavians, they, they played it well. He tried to use them in the center, but... Uh, but the Moldavians brought the cavalry and uh, they retreat them. I don't know why it's so laggy. Uh, I see they are trying to think. Oh, okay, he noticed that. Uh, just stop them, stop them, please. Nice. The enemy no. is going for our general. Nice, nice, nice. He just destroyed this unit. Oh my goodness. 
Man, don't oh, look at that. Oh, this battle. <laughs> it's so easy, kind of, for <laughs> for Malavia. Basically, you shoot in, into your own troops because the, the handgunners are based on the crossbowmen template for this mode because in the in the vanilla game they are not uh, like handgunners so you basically uh, they are on the uh, on the crossbowman template and they are shooting straight not like archer you know the archer are uh, uh, they can uh, skirmish like this you know like a curve or something but uh, the <laughs> <laughs> the handgunners and the crossbowmen are sh shooting straight, uh, plus the handgunners they do not have uh, basically something. Uh, they're shooting shooting randomly, basically on the front line. I don't know. This is in real life, but in the in mod, units, they out. are shooting like like uh, uh, like uh, been, like the crossbowmen. So they are, they can do a lot of friendly fire, especially they are. Elite. Uh, they are basically the handgunners are better, more stats or anything like that. So uh, mainly, men return to the fight. they they try to push them here. Well, it's it's over for uh, Serbia, I think. I think mostly because they had a bad start, but I don't know what's gonna happen here. I see that they can have some ch chances, but here that there is over. I don't know why it's so laggy. I don't know. Oh, here. Just sitting here in the grass and watching the battle. The enemy has laid an ambush. There are any settlements here? No, unfortunately. Uh, no. I thought that was being cool. Being a Our villager coming the here with the your goats and your sheep. And uh, just standing there and watching the battle. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't know why it's so laggy, damn it. Okay. Sorry for that. Uh, let's see. They're still. Yeah, the, the Moldavians are. They caught their general here. Oh my god, look at that. We have to see that. Look, look at the lag. The men are Why so laggy? For their lives. As you know, the chat was deactivated in the game, so basically Attila is dead. Uh, mostly. Unfortunately, has a lot of potential, but the, the, the creative assembly are not doing enough. We are still waiting for Medieval 3, just to be sure that you know that. <laughs> If anyone will ever watch it, like from the Creative Assembly, Our men have regrouped. <laughs> we don't need Pharaoh Total War. I, I even, I didn't even watch. I, I think I watched a review at at least that, but I never watched a full trailer from the Creative Assembly because I I knew that that is not a good game, you know. Okay, that's good. Yeah, the basically Moldavians will win. Sorry for not representing this. But yeah, basically it's over. The, their general is here. I don't know. Maybe they will win. Maybe they will not. The yeah, yeah, they will win for sure. Their unit has rallied. They had a good start, the Moldavians, from the start. Uh, he didn't play well with the the uh, light and gunners enemy forces of yeah, our general down. oh okay okay what turn if events in the last minute okay that that's bad okay i uh, now the the tide of the battle has turned against the Moldavians. Okay, don't don't use your your pole arms, dude. No way, it's over for your general. No, 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 it's over. Come on, you have to kill him. 
What? He survived? No way, bro. No way. Really. He breaks away, but come on, dude. Well, that was the last chance of him winning. I don't know why it's so laggy, bro. I just hate it. It has passed some times, to be honest, from the, from the uh, I got the replay, but well, maybe something has changed, I don't know. Yeah, it's over. It's basically, you have to attack these troops here. Let them be over. What a turn of events, right? The the Serbians have won. Uh, at the beginning, they they started well, but in the end, the men are broken and running for their it's lives. Basically, over. It's good that they won. Valiant defeat, indeed, valiant defeat. And like I've said, no one asked for Pharaoh, and it's just basically a Egypt and some of the fertile uh, crescent, basically the Levant or the Mesopotamia and the uh, Syria and the uh, and uh, Israel and so on that that zone basically. So yeah, uh, and it's not that good, <laughs> and some of the S uh, Sudan region, and that's all. From what I know, I don't know, but I I don't even like it. I didn't like too much Troy. I played a little bit, but the cities the city the cities were good. The cities were good to be honest in Troy, but the the battles and that you know didn't work well. Uh, but yeah, so uh, on the side of the Moldavians, they did very well on the infantry side. They did well at the beginning, like I said. Even in the middle of the battle, they did well. But at the end, at the little end, they won because mostly uh, uh, their general died. Look at that. The, just the cavalry did a lot of work, but the rest just a little bit. It was just some of the... You just need that luck or uh, that mistake made by your enemy and it's over. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Goodbye.